Welcome to episode six of My Denver Live. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you didn't read the description today, we will be doing the Household Olympics. Uh, for those who do not know, this year, the 2020 Olympics was rescheduled until next year. So with that being the case, that means we had to step in and provide some uh, awesome competitive events for you to challenge yourself in. So that's what we will be doing today in a little bit. But in a little bit. But as you know, we always start out with a few things of the day. So let's go ahead and get it going. For those who don't know, I am Corbin with my Denver out of the Denver Parks and Recreation. And uh, I'll be the host. So let's do it. First thing, socks of the day. I got today, if you know me, chicken or turkey legs. Let's we'll see if I'm flexible enough. Uh, I'm not. Dre, Dre has some socks here, but I don't know if she's wearing them. So they we'll, we'll were Rugrats. Yep, Rugrats socks. So there you go. So again, if you're not on the crazy sock game, get on it. It makes your day a little bit better. All right, so that is the socks of the day. It is now time for the riddle of the day. So there are 20 people on a bridge. If you know this riddle, don't cheat and send in the answer. All right, there are 20 people on a bridge. All 20 of them jump off the bridge into the water, then out of the water, 24 heads pop out of the water. How is it possible? I'll repeat it one more time. 20 people on a bridge, all 20 jump off the bridge into the water, 24 heads come out of the water. You figure it out, type it in, send it to us, use the hashtag MyDenverLive. We would love to see if you can get it right. That is our riddle of the day. All right, now it's time for things I learned today. I've actually been learning some really crazy stuff doing this segment. So uh, our facts, two facts of today. Number one, did you know that your teeth are as strong, same strength as a shark's teeth? Just different shapes. It's like using a spoon versus a knife. Same strength level. So we have the capability, you know, to be that jaw that we need to be. All right, the fact number two, you, are bioluminescent. Did you know that? Yes, we humans, we glow. We give off uh, luminescence. It's just that our human eye can't see it. So our eyes can only see certain spectrums of color and light and such. Uh, we're not able to see the actual glow coming from humans. So I'm very curious actually what my glow looks like. Um, I wonder what yours does too. All right, so that is our things I learned today, two things. And I think we're ready to get it going. So like I said, we're doing the Household Olympics. Uh, we got a lot of events to get done. We have 10, actually. So before we get started, I did challenge those of you who were watching last episode uh, to go ahead and try to create a country or something, uh, create an anthem, a flag, whatever it is. So we've gone ahead, and for our country that we will be representing today for ourselves, we are the West <laughs> Westlake Acronia. Westlake Acronia Akron, Ak Akron, Akronia, in honor of... LeBron James, the king. the king. So we are West Lake Acronia. This is our flag. And do we have a national anthem? The stars at night are big in a I don't know. I don't, we don't have one yet. We didn't think of one. But the point is, get creative. Get some names before you start. If you're doing a competition against family members or friends online and you're going to be challenging them, make sure you have a, a name for your country that you'll be representing. Uh, the more unique and more creative, the more fun. All right, so with that said, let's get it going. So we know there are a lot of events of the Olympics, and we could do a lot of different games that uh, kind of mirror them. So we've gone ahead and chose 10 that we think are pretty simple and that use pretty basic household items, so you can do them as well. Uh, so number one, the first event of the day, let me go ahead and grab my materials. The balloon knees race. So everyone knows you got the 100-meter dash, 200-meter dash, so on and so forth. A lot of dashing. And you can add that to your Olympics at, how, at the home. See who's the fastest. That's awesome. But for our purposes, we're going to be doing the balloon knees race. So the way this will work, kind of how it sounds. You take this balloon, put it between your knees, and you have to race. So you can do this for time. You can do this against somebody if you're you know, racing someone in your own household, whatever it is. This is really all it is. You keep the knees, balloon between your knees. You set a, a marker. We only have about... 10 feet of room to use in our fancy studio here. So I'm not going to go too far, but that's really how it is. So I'll count down three, two, one, and I'm getting, I'm getting, and I'm going around my target and I'm back. And that's the balloons in between the knees race. Pretty basic, but a little bit of hopping, jumping, and add some fun, add a little uh, competition to the family. So balloons between the knees race. 
That is event number one. Make sure you get that if you're going to follow along with our challenge. If not, get creative and think of your own. All right, event number two. So here in Colorado, people love their hockey. I'm from Texas. We don't do that much. But for this game, we have made our own tabletop hockey or foosball. If you, no, I will say hockey. So sadly, I'm all alone, and I can't have someone on camera with me, so I cannot compete. But the way this has been constructed is really simple. You might be able to see it. So on each end of the table, I've taped a cup. Just a pretty basic cup, nothing to it. Making sure I don't cut the bottom out, but it doesn't matter too much. Tape the cup on there. Then you can make yourself a wall, so make sure the ball's not flying off. You can use any size table, whatever you're wanting. You can go 360 and play around the board, whatever it is. But really, the, the goal is simple. Same rules as hockey. Start in the middle, one player here, pretend I'm two different people. <laughs> one player here, one player there, and they're both trying to get it into the other one's cup. Oh, that's really it. So this this is a little difficult, depending. Oh, I got one. Depending on how you do your walls, how big your cups are, how good of a defender with a straw the other person is. But it's a really fun game, and you can actually make it at home yourself without having to order an online hockey table on Amazon. So. Again, pretty simple setup. Table, two cups, tape them on. Add a little border. I left this side open so you guys can see. But add a little border so the wall's not flying everywhere. And go to town. That is the table hockey. So that is event number two, table hockey. Let me get this out of the way. All right. So. Many of you may have been watching, but if you haven't, we did do a few games a while back called tape games. And basically, they're just different game, games using tape. Uh, for the next two, that's really all you're going to need, and you can actually add more games to this. Uh, but let me go ahead and bring the camera a little bit down. So the way it's to work, if you saw the other day, and if you've watched any Olympics or track events, I was like, we're going to get the camera shifted just a little bit. Perfect. All right. So if you've seen any track events, they have... Long jump, triple jump, all these different things. And we've showed you guys how to do this. But you can set up your own line, get ready, do your swing, and see how far you can get. Jumping broad jump. Sorry, this came a little low. Jumping broad jump, flat footed. You can do like we talked about and get a running start and jump. And that can, or you can try to do the triple jump. And if you don't know what that is, it is a one, one, two, something like that. It's three hops. Dave Dre might have to do a better example on a different video. But essentially, it's triple hop. So if you have a long hallway or bigger space than we have right now, you're going to have a lot more room to work with. But that is our, our second, our third event, long jump. And you can do that in any way you want, basically challenge and see how far you can fly. So that is the long jump. And then another tape game that we taught y'all that we want to incorporate into our Olympic Games is the tape toss or target toss. So in the Olympics, you see they have archery. They also have uh, gun shooting, different things like that. Target, prep, target, targeting. So ours is kind of emulating that. So you can do this with rubber bands on cups like we've done. You can do this with this and throw tape balls, paper balls, sock balls, whatever it is. But again, you're just trying to get them inside of your target. And as you can see, I have put on the floor and tape and that I did not get one ball inside of. So not Kobe. Not, not, I'm not Kobe today. But this is game number four, event number four, the target toss, like we've been covering in the past. This using that's terrible. That's hard. Oh my gosh! All right, I'm not I'm not in it today. But just using different uh, games and materials that we have around the house and that we've already taught. So those are the first four events. Let's get on to number five. Where'd my bucket go. There it is. All right. So for event number five, this one is a throwback to our last episode. We want to see if you've been practicing your ping ponging, your bouncing, all your trick shots. So. Like I said in the last episode, all you need is a cup of water. This is already has water in it and some ping pong balls. We got a few in here. This is just to hold them. And then what you do is you're, we're going to do, for our purposes, we'll do 10 shots. For at home, you can do whatever you're wanting. But you get 10 shots, and you're trying to see out of, how, out of those 10, how many can you get into that cup of water. Uh, if you do make it, you can take it out. Uh, this isn't a speed game. This is an accuracy one, all about how, how good you do. Uh, if you watched last episode, I was doing terrible. So hopefully, I've been practicing and I can do a little bit better today. So I'm going to go ahead and do five. Out of the five, we'll see how my score looks. 
All right, can I get a little more power? Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to get this. All right, I'm doing all 10. I have to. I have, I have to. Get this one. I have to get one. Uh, oh, no. No. Every episode, something, go, something goes board. wrong. Backboard. All right, last ball. Last ball. I didn't get one. I, I'm not even going to count that. that no. Walk off the stage. I have to. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. So, that is the Pong Bounce. That is our fifth event. Like I've been saying uh, kind of earlier in the episode, you can do uh, any of these and change them up however you want for your purposes. But for our 10 events, these are the 10 we will be doing. All right. So that was the palm bounce. Let me get this out the way. All right. Event number six. Number six. It is the discus throw. So for those who have watched the Olympics before, you've seen the people and the track events. So there's track and field. So one of the field events is uh, discus and shot put and things like that, where they're throwing heavy objects. So we've gone ahead and taken some paper plates. Dre did an awesome job. And apparently she is a Seahawks fan. So go Seahawks if you are a Seahawks fan. But we've made three different types of Frisbee uh, type discs. So we've this one we stapled two plates together. This one we taped to and put some marbles in to add some weight and make it a little more difficult. And this one we just taped and I think maybe some tissue. But... Different, three different types of frisbees. It's however you want to do it. And if you have an actual frisbee, then you can use that. But if not, you can make your own at home with paper plates or real plates. Nah, Probably not real not. plates. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me move my camera down. We're going to use our target on the floor for this game. Uh, but you can use anything. One of my favorites is to get a hula hoop and to put a hula hoop on a tree branch or anything and try to throw it through that. But since our space is small, we'll use our floor target. So, again, this case you can do it. The... <laughs> The Olympic style where you do your spin and throw it, see how far you can get it, or you can do it in the basic Frisbee style and just try to see Ooh. and just see if you can try to get them on there. Not too bad. Not too bad. So at home Frisbees, at home discus, pretty simple. All right. So that was event number six. It's time for event number seven. All right. One of my favorite things to watch in the Olympics is ice skating. It is actually incredibly beautiful. I love how smooth, they're so smooth. I'm very jealous because I can't do that. So for our purpose, we're going to make our own ice skates. But since we don't have any ice in our homes, we've gone ahead and cut two uh, or cut a paper plate apart. You can do this with a paper plate. You can do this with dryer sheets. You can do this with just about anything that's slick and your foot will fit on. But the way we'll do it, if I put my ice skates down, they are slick enough and different material floor, floor types. So whether it be carpet or bare floor, I might help you. But for this, you can do ice skating. You can do a race, go around. It is pretty slick. You can do spins. Oh, let's see if I can do a spin. That was a really good spin. Right, not bad. But ice skating, pretty simple. And you just use paper plates. <laughs> Workout. Yeah, and a good workout. If you can do that, get a little shuffle, get that core activated. I, that actually kind of tired me out, all three seconds of it. So, ice skate. All right. I don't know if this is actually an Olympic sport, but we're going to try it. So, do they have golf in the Olympics? Is there golf in the Olympics? If you know, chat it in. That's a good question, actually. So, in the Olympics, if they don't have golf, that's okay, but we're going to pretend that they do. So the way this will work, if you have a broom, a ping pong ball, and a cup like we've been doing, you can play mini golf. You don't need all the fancy balls or equipment. All you need is a cup, a broom, and a ball. So right now, my broom's a little long for me, so I'm going to have it up on my shoulder. So I'm getting my stance. I'm not a golfer, so do not judge or critique. <laughs> Actually, critique. I need to learn. You can get a little, little pat. It is a ping pong ball, so you don't need to hit it as hard. If you have a long hallway, feel free to get some trick shots and get some distance on it. But let's see if I can get it in there on the first shot. If I get a hole in one, Dre in the background, I have to do 10 push ups. Oh, no. All right, go get them. She's doing them right now. <laughs> you can probably hear the breathing. <laughs> All right, that is mini golf. I didn't expect to make that shot. 
Uh, I needed, yeah, that was awesome. So again, all you need is a ping pong ball or any ball that's pretty well, uh, can roll and get over there. A cup, and a broom, and just get a little better at it. You don't need an official uh, club or anything. So that is golf. That was event number eight, giant golf. We have two more events left. Event number nine. This event we've renamed in honor of the fallen. This is the event we will call Kobe. Oh, oh we all know Kobe. All right. But this game is basically you can do Kobe and do the trick shots and try to get your paper ball, tape ball, whatever ball into your trash can. Or you can challenge your friends or people online to a game of horse. If you've ever played horse before or pig, uh, basically it's a way of doing a trick shot or any shot. If you make it, they have to make it. If you don't, they can do any shot. If they make it, you have to do it. I'm not going to try to explain the rules. They're pretty unique. So if you want to look it up, Google horse or how to play basketball horse online. And if you do know, there's another way to bring it a smaller version to your home. So I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to do a trick shot. Oh, let's see. Dre's in the background. She's way over there. If she makes this, she'll see the ball coming. If she makes it, I'll see if I can make it from a distance. All right, Dre. I'm going to do the Kobe. The Kobe. She's, fading, anyway. she's doing Kobe, fading away, turn around, all that. All right. All right. My dribble. Dribble, turn, oh, I missed. She missed. So I don't have to do it. That means I get to choose my shot anywhere. Maybe I do a little hook. Maybe I do a little hook. Maybe I do a little <laughs> So that is the game of Kobe. If you don't know it, it really is, it's just shooting balls into the paper basket. But the way we're going to do it for our Olympic event is to do trick shots or a horse challenge. And whoever wins the horse challenge amongst the players or you're competing against gets the win for that event. All right, and that was event number nine. All right, we're flying through it. This is our last event. Sadly, I don't get to compete with anyone on screen, but it's okay. At home, I hope you guys can try it and see who gets the best scores in your events, and I hope you can think of your own as well. So, many of you have probably seen curling on TV before. Curling is, if you don't know what it is, it's basically these guys or women and they're, they're sliding and they take these rocks on the ice and they throw them and slide them, kind of like shuffleboard, and they see how far they can go and then see if they can land in the target. That's a very simple explanation from someone who doesn't know how to curl. But we have milk jug curling. So if you drink milk, have a water gallon, anything like that at home, you can fill it up with water. Uh, about halfway or so, it's up to you. You put it on your starting mark. Like we said, we have a short distance here. Uh, but the goal is to get to the bullseye area. As you can see, we have, we'll do one point or three, five, ten, like we've done in the past. And so that's our scoring. I can get however many throws we decide on. We'll say I get three throws and see how many points I get for each throw. And we can do it where the, the bulk of where the milk jug is is where you get the point. So let's see, first throw, get a little slide. All right, not bad. So that'd be a five-pointer. Five. Five, five. All right. Another five. All right, I want to get that 10 on the last one. I want all 20. 20 at the end. All right, let's see. I wish I had, like, a crowd. Let's go. Let's go, Carmen! Yeah. Oh. oh, overshot it. All right. Dang. The only difference in our curling, we're not the only. The main difference is there's no people sweeping the track. Yeah. You know, smooth and make the ice warmer so it slides. So it's really just kind of gliding the milk jug, trying to get it on the target. Awesome. So that is milk jug curling. And that is our 10 events. Just to review, I'm going to go through them. We have the balloon, balloon knee race. And you can rewind and uh, rewind if you need to check back. The balloon knee race, so you race with the balloon between your legs. We have the table hockey we've made with cups and cardboard and straws. We have the long jump and target toss using tape on the floor, or whatever we want to use, get some jumps, getting some tosses. We have the ping, ping pong bounce, trying to get them in there. We got discus throwing using our homemade discuses. What's the plural of discus? Disc 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 this guy. We're using our homemade discuses. Uh, speed skating using paper plates. Giant golf using grooves, ping pong balls and cups. Kobe or horse shooting into the trash can or bucket of whatever you want to shoot into and then the milk jug curling so that is our review of our 10 events for our 
Household Olympics. Hopefully you have a lot of these materials around the house and can compete and hopefully send in some of your times. Uh, we would love to see if you're better at me at, than these, at these events, which you most likely are, as you've seen through my performance. So that's all we have for you today. I've forgotten my photo of the day again, but just to remind you, please follow Denver Parks and Recreation on Instagram and Facebook to keep up with all program updates as well as online live shows we're doing, as well as going to denvergov.org slash recreation to stay up to date on everything. So I'm Corbin. Thank you for joining my Denver for the Household Olympics. And that's all we got for you today. Thank you.